Now to a story we first brought you earlier this month. We're just two weeks away from a devastating crash on Interstate 55, taking the lives of seven people and leaving dozens injured. The response compromised the volunteer firefighters, highlights the need for more of them. A new bill passing the Illinois Senate looks to intensify recruitment efforts. Our 13 WRX's Dylan Valencia joins us. Dylan, how does this bill impact our fire departments here at home? Yeah, Manny, good morning. I'm here outside of North Park Fire, and a lot of their firemen are volunteers. Now, this tax incentive would provide $500 in tax credit for each volunteer, and volunteers actually make up 85% of firefighters in the entire state. Now, some people think this is a step in the right direction, and other people believe it won't make an impact when it comes to recruitment. We shouldn't have to wait for an I-55 crash or a chem tool to bring this up. I mean, volunteers is a dying thing. We need um, more than what they're willing to give. You know, nobody wants to do it. The, the times right now with people with shortage of money or jobs or whatever the case may be, it just seems like, uh, you know, that we need uh, to step it up a little bit to help pay for the guys that are spending their time here and helping out the communities that they serve. North Park Fire Department is one of many fire departments who utilize volunteer firemen. Now more than ever, they are seeing similar issues as others, a shortage. I'm sure most of it is probably economics. People just can't give their time without getting paid. They have bills as well. Um, uh, inflation's killing everybody and uh, so, um, and, and to volunteer is not, it's not just hey, come on in, get on the truck. There's a, there's a commitment to volunteering. There's a minimum of 200 hours of training before you can even get on a truck. That training takes a lot of time and can't guarantee a place on a truck. However, unlike many other stations, North Park Fire pays for their training school. We welcome all the help we can get, but we need more help um, uh, monetarily. So, and, and we have, there are people out there that want to, volunteer, you know, we're kind of a stepping stone to those career departments and we know that. So we get them in here, we train them and then they test for other places. North Park Fire is grateful for the tax incentive. However, they don't believe it's enough to bring people on, although they believe it's a step in the right direction. We, we may be delayed. Uh, being paid, let's say just to be here, guarantees the staff here on the engine or, or our ambulance, you know. Now for volunteer firefighters, there are specific requirements, especially when it comes to having that staff to keep our community safe. For example, here at North Park, the requirements are 36 hours a month. And for this tax incentive, you have to also volunteer for at least nine months before even receiving it. So there are a lot of specific requirements and you can take a look at those on our website at WREX.com. For now, I'm at Chesney Park. I'm Dylan Valencia with 13 WREX.